It is a beautiful Thursday afternoon in the big sky. Bob McGuire with you here in the Q2 Weather Center. And as you can see in the Billings area, we are looking over the heights right now. Mostly sunny skies, a few puffy clouds here or there. Maybe a little bit of smoke off on the horizon. Right now, though, in the early afternoon, it's 73 degrees in the Billings area with a southwest wind at about 10 miles per hour. Around the rest of the state, our temps are mostly into the 60s and 70s. We are forecasting to get into the 80s today. We're a little slow to warm up, possibly because of the smoke. And as you can see, we do have a lot of smoke around Montana this afternoon. That stuff stays with us throughout the rest of the day today on into Friday even into Saturday looking at more smoke moving into the region by Saturday night on into Sunday the smoke finally starts to clear a little bit in the meantime we do have a red flag warning basically from Canada all the way down into Wyoming here in the Billings area that red flag warning stays with us until 9 p.m. we have an increased wildfire risk because of that in the meantime Doppler radar and satellite imagery shows just a few puffy clouds here or there no rainfall or anything like that our high resolution forecast model shows it's pretty much going to stay that way for the rest of today on into Friday but by the time Saturday gets here, Saturday afternoon, we're starting to see the next wave of moisture move into the western part of the state. This one could actually bring us some measurable rain to the Billings area. First time we would have had that in over a month. In the meantime, it's going to be 84 degrees later this afternoon at 530, cooling back down to 49 in the morning. 69 degrees about this time tomorrow afternoon. We'll top out at 76 on Friday, 84 on Saturday. Then that next cold front moves through and knocks us back into the 50s and 60s from Sunday all the way into the middle part of next week. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News, or you can check us out online at ktvq.com.